This is the eBoost 2 from TurboSmart that I used to control the larger turbocharger that I added to the car. Now, basically how this works is you can set a couple of different settings. So I've got three that are set up and it will have, if I can get into the system real quick, there we go, a what's called a boost gate, which is the first setting the gate pressure, which is 19.4, which means that at 19.4 PSI of boost, this will start activating. And then there's a sensitivity setting, but the more important setting is this set point, which says what percentage of the time will it be restricting the, the airflow to the boost actuator, and what percentage of it will it be allowing it to pass. So basically how this works is think of it like blowing through your mouth like you were going to whistle and then using your tongue to limit how much of the air was going through. So instead of going you go and determining how tight your tongue was going to be against to determine how much on and off it's going to work. Because basically how this works is at 60 cycles per second it's going open close, 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 open close except that at 60% duty cycle, 60% of the time, it's going to be open rather than closed. So in a cycle of 10 up-downs, four of those up-downs are going to be closed so that instead of getting 16 PSI, you might get 12 PSI. And it's going to vary based on how you've got your setup. So you have to learn to set this as opposed to just having it be a factory type setting. You basically pick how much on off ratio do I need for the way my boost is behaving in my setup. And I'll show you what's under the hood here in just a second. Okay, so here we are under the hood and this is the TurboSmart 3T and what we have here is we're taking a reference off of where what was called the noise maker on the factory install was and have capped that and put a tap on so that we can get the si uh, reference signal for what boost it is. This T here sends to the inside of the car so that the boost controller can know what the pressure is and then the rest passes through to be T'd. Now this line goes all the way around to where the actuator is the actuator is and I've got a 14 psi actuator so Basically what we're doing is this is doing that open close thing that we talked about and a portion of the time it's sending it to the actuator over here and if it were open 100% of the time my boost would be limited to 14 psi by the actuator but since it's going open and close we can go above 14 psi. Now this other lead goes back into my PCV valve but basically back into the air intake so that we don't mess up because we're getting how much airflow we have measured by the mass airflow sensor and the mass airflow sensor won't know if we're bleeding off boost in order to manage our boost and so it's going to run too rich if we don't send that back into the system so that the air is what's called counted so the boost T goes through the firewall into the boost controller we're coming off of a reference that used to be where the noisemaker was. I didn't figure we need a noisemaker, especially since this new turbo makes so much noise on its own. And we're going through the 3T, which is redirecting the air to the appropriate place so that we can manage our boost.